Oh, hello there. I didn't see you come in. My name is Mr. Schwartz. I'm a math specialist at Chittick School. This is my colleague, Miss Alara. Many parents ask us, how can I help my child with math at home? The math my child is doing in school seems so different than the math I did when I was in school. I want to help, but I'm not always sure how. Sure, some things have changed, but what hasn't changed are the basic addition and multiplication facts. Knowing your basic addition and multiplication facts can help your child solve related subtraction and division facts and are the springboard for more difficult multi-digit computation. You might be surprised to know that you can help your child learn his or her basic facts at home and have fun at the same time. And you can do it without any fancy technological gadgets. Just as good, an old-fashioned deck of cards and some dice will work just fine. Here are three quick tips for games and activities that you can do at home to help your child learn and practice basic facts. Tip number one, play addition or multiplication top it. You can play addition or multiplication top it with a regular deck of playing cards. Just remove the face cards and play with aces through tens. You can use the aces for ones. Four plus seven equals Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Nine plus six, I know ten plus six equals sixteen, so nine plus six equals fifteen. Who wins? Mama. Yeah. <laughs> Each player draws two cards and either adds or multiplies them. The player with the largest sum or product wins the round and gets the cards. If your child is still learning his or her facts, they can use a number line, hundreds grid, or multiplication table. These tools are available from your child's teacher. I got nine times seven. Nine times seven is 63. Now we can both learn our facts. Beginners can use the cards ace through five, and you can add in the higher cards once those facts are mastered. But addition and multiplication top it are not the only games you can play with cards. Tip number two, play name that number. Name that number can also be played with a regular deck of cards. Remove the face cards and play with aces through tens. Lay out five cards in a row, then lay out a single card. This is the target number. Challenge your child to add or subtract any of the five cards to make a sum or difference equal to the target number. I got three cards. Good thinking, Mom. Continue by replacing the cards until you have used the entire deck. Challenge your child to use three or more cards with a combination of operations. Five plus five equals ten minus one equals nine. I got four cards. Why didn't I think of that? It's okay, Mom. You'll get the hang of it. Do you have some dice lying around the house? If so, get ready for tip number three. Play the game 500. To play the game 500, take turns rolling three dice. Add any two together and then multiply the sum by the number on the third die. That's your score for that turn. Keep rolling and adding your score. The first player to reach 500 points is the winner. Okay, so I have, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna do five plus six. Five plus six equals 11, and then times four, 44. Okay. Mom, I think you should, you could have done it a different way to get more points. How? Oh. You could have done five plus four, four equals nine, I mean, yeah, nine, and then times six, would have gotten you 54. Oh, wow. You're right. Okay, I guess there's a lot of strategy in this game. A lot of different ways. Good job. I hope you see that practicing basic addition and multiplication facts doesn't have to be painful and tedious. You can learn facts and have fun at the same time. And you don't need to spend money on fancy computer programs or iPads. 
cards and dice will work just fine. Your child's teacher may be able to help you with more suggestions or fun games to play at home. Well, it's time for us to get back to work. And time for you and your child to go try out one of these games.